Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and thanks for tuning in to Johnny's Flute Reviews. In this episode we're going to be looking at a flute that has wet out protection and answering some questions about watering out and wet out protection. Stay tuned. Welcome back, I'm Johnny Lippard, and on this channel we do reviews, tips, tutorials, original songs, and cover songs to showcase the versatility of the Native American flute. If you're new here, consider subscribing and drop a comment below so we can welcome you. By the way, you'll find show notes, links, and also some goodies in the description below. Look at this beautiful cherry flute made by John Stilwell of Ancient Territory Flutes. John's located in California. He's been making flutes for 15, 20 years or so. Um, and I was really curious. I read on his website that he has a wet out protection and I wasn't quite sure what that was. I did a little research with it and I asked him to send me one because I wanted to test drive it and I wanted to drive it hard like I were performing with it. And I was really surprised. I'll tell you about it later. Um, so first, before we get into the wet out, I want to I want to feature this flute just like a typical native style flute. It's in the key of F. Uh, this is his craftsman line. John makes a couple of different lines of flute from, you know, really simple in design to getting into more woods. And then he even has some that have more um, features and more woods. And I really like the way that he, he makes them very interesting. So it's not just like a slice, it's more of a, um, an angle here uh, that the end cap sits into. Uh, he's been a woodworker all of his life and uh, it's really interesting to see. The other thing that is unique about this flute is it's kind of triangular shaped. It's rounded around a triangular uh, shape. It's got these broad shoulders here that are rounded and then it kind of comes to a point down here on uh, the bottom of the flute. Um, and what I like about it is it creates this nice flat surface for uh, my fingers. So if you're someone who sometimes finding where the edge of the hole is on a, on a rounded flute, it's sometimes hard to find that with our fingertips the feeling around and having this more flattened area uh, is a benefit for some. Um, I find it to be very comfortable. I'm not so sure about the peak um, that I feel here and it might just be might just be my thumbs and the way that I'm used to holding a flute. Uh, this flute has a little bit more weight to it, um, mostly because it's got a large, slow air chamber here, and there's a lot of wood here, and this is Babinga, it's a heavier wood. Uh, so this particular flute does have some weight to it. Let's hear what it sounds like, and then we'll dive into the wet out protection and what that really does, and my experience with that. So here we go. We'll treat this just like a your regular modern native style flute. It's very warm, has a very warm sound. And when I tongue this flute in particular, I hear that, that chirp, that sharpness, that um, little explosion right at the beginning. So that little chatter that you hear in tonguing really is prominent in this uh, particular flute. So what is this wet out protection? Um, this is very interesting. So as I pull, it's all underneath the hood. So as I pull this off, let's take a look and see what this looks like. See that white right here? So this is hydrophilic plastic and it is on both the, um, in the flue here. So John laminates the flue here with this hydrophilic plastic as well as the bottom of the bird. So if you can see this, let's see if I can get this to, there we go. So hydrophilic plastic underneath the bird and the flue, 
And what this does is it keeps the water moving. It keeps the water moving so it doesn't beat up and get in the way of things. Now, my experience with this, I came in with an open mind um, and I wanted to really push this flute like I would any of my performance flutes. And wet out is a big thing. It's a big concern. And I, if I don't already have videos on, uh, on YouTube here about talking specifically about wet out, then there will be because it's a really important topic and I want to do it justice. This is not the place uh, to talk about this, but it will be coming if it's not already here. So keep an eye out for that. Um, so I drove this flute hard. And my other flutes, usually I can, sometimes I can barely get through a song without them wetting out. Other flutes I can get, you know, 10 minutes um, out of, and that seems to be pretty typical for the way that I play and the environment in which I play in. Now, I push my flutes hard. Uh, as a performing and recording artist, I, I push them. Um, and so with this flute, I was watching the clock and I had played it for about 30 minutes. And around the 15, um, the 15 minute mark, I realized that the flute had a slight change in voice. I picked up on it, but it wasn't as bad. It didn't debilitate the flute. Um, so I played this flute for 30 minutes and I could have gone longer. Um, I decided at that point, uh, it was proven. So I feel like on Mythbusters, when they do the, the whole um, series of events and try to see if it's plausible or busted or if it's fact. And um, I believe that this is something that works. The other thing though that I would be, um, that I need to mention is John does make his flutes with a much wider flue and splitting edge here. And that's gonna help too overall with wet out, whether you have the, um, the wet out protection that he offers on his flutes or not, having a wider flu typically will buy you some time in wet out just because there's more area for the water to go. The water droplets, when you take the bird off and you look and there's water droplets under there, you've got a little bit more space for that, um, those water droplets to go and hang out on the side or get blown through. And they're not just all clumping up together and debilitating the voice of the flute. So this, um, this works, at least for me, it is very plausible. Um, I find that I was really surprised uh, by this. I'll be honest with you. Um, so John, good work. Um, I'm excited to, uh, uh, to see and, and hopefully add a couple of these flutes to my collection. So stay tuned. We have uh, more flute reviews, flute tips, tutorials, uh, cover songs and original songs here on the channel. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much and I'll see you in another video. Hi friends, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're interested in growing as a flute player, click below for more information. If you're looking for more videos like this, see the playlist in the corner. Lastly, please consider subscribing so you're notified every time new videos drop. Thanks.